Time to look at the highlights now of race number one of the Fanatec GT World Challenge powered by AWS and Mark Rosser. A little bit trigger happy at the start there and we'll drop back behind the fast cars as we went green for the first one hour race. His problems got worse down here at the chase when he drilled the back of the Superbarn Supermarkets entry. Well, the Kaduras brothers here causing significant damage to both the vehicles as carbon fibre and bits and pieces went right across the chase down here at Mount Panorama. So it wasn't the debut run that this car was looking for after arriving from Germany earlier this year. This was later in the race when Liam Talbot had the bit between his teeth, taking the lead from Yasser Shahin, who was thinking about the championship, while Talbot just wanted to get that car to the front. What about this fascinating battle between Grove and Ibrahim, who went off the track here, trying to pass the 888 Mercedes-Benz in the chase. This was a graphic shot as he swept across, but would find the outfields. This battle went on for several laps before he finally got the job done here. Mercedes tried to park it down the infield, but ultimately the Porsche would get the job done to the joy of Stephen Grove. But that was short-lived. This moment here when he clipped the yellow marker, which would cost him a stop-go penalty for one second and drop them down the field. What about Christopher Meese? Straight out of quarantine and into the 777 car. Just chased down Fraser Ross, who took over from Liam Talbot set in fastest lap after fastest lap and would ultimately take the win and give Yasser Shahin another victory in the Fanatec GT World Challenge powered by AWS.